The pizza pictured above or pictured has a diameter of 14 inches and divided into three is divided into three equal slices. What is the area of the pizza? Well, to find area, we have to know radius. We don't know radius, but we know diameter. Radius is equal to diameter divided by two, which is equal to 14 divided by two, so the radius is seven inches. And we know that area is equal to pi r squared, which is pi times radius squared, which is seven. Seven squared is 49, don't forget the pi. So the area is 49 pi, and our unit of measure is inches squared. There's the area. And then it asks the question, okay, if you know the area, what is the area then of sector A, B, D, just this sector right here? Well, we know that the, the pizza is divided into three equal slices. So if we know it's divided into three equal slices, then we know that sector A, B, D is one out of three. Get that to be readable for you guys. One out of three equal slices. So we can say which is one third of the pizza. So remember our ratios again. If we know that there's three equal pieces and we want to know the sector area of one piece then we want one-third of the entire pizza, one out of three. So let's take a look at our formula for finding sector area. Sector ABC is going to be equal to the entire area times one out of three pieces. <clears throat> our area is 49 pi times one out of three and we put that in our calculator and we're going to get approximately 51.3 inches squared. So if you want to write this as a complete sentence, you would say the area of sector, I'm going to let you write the rest of it, the area of sector ABC is approximately 51.3 inches squared. All right, and last one. The beam from a lighthouse reaches a distance of six miles and spreads to an angle of 42 degrees. What is the area covered by the lighthouse beam? Now you can take a look at a picture of a lighthouse. We've got a central angle measure here. Here's the center of our circle. That's the center of the lighthouse is 42 degrees and we know it reaches a distance of six miles that appears to be our radius. Now take a look at this question. Is this question asking us how long this arc is or how big this area is? And when you look at the question it says what is the area covered? So you have to determine this is a sector area problem. Once we know that, we know how to solve it. Step number one is to find the area of the entire circle. So if this is a whole circle, we know that area is pi r squared. The radius is 6. So it's pi times 6 squared, which is 36 pi miles squared. So there's our whole area. And then remember to find sector area so to find the area of one part of a circle, the area of one part of a circle, sector area is the entire area times the central angle of the piece we want to cut out. Well, we know that angle measure is 42. We want 42 out of 360 degrees. So sector area is going to be area, which is 36 pi. That's the whole circle times 42 divided by 360. Put that in your calculator and you're going to get approximately 13.2 miles 
squared. So to write that answer as a sentence, you're going to write the area covered is, and you can finish this sentence, the area covered is approximately 13.2 miles squared. And that's the end of these practice word problems. One more thing I just realized that I want to add to this video is for the windshield wiper problem class, if you would, label this 115 degrees just so you see this is a central angle. We're going to see that where this windshield wiper is attached to the car is the center of an actual circle. And the same thing for the lighthouse problem. We go to that one this light beam is part of a circle and we can treat this 42 degrees as a central angle. I know I said that during the talk about how to solve the problem but I want to have you label that as a central angle so you know that's where 42 comes from here 42 out of 360 and that's where 115 out of 360 comes in that problem.